right, here he comes. Come sit uncomfortably close to Mr. Flick here. And now I'm going to adjust the camera now so that he, now remember I was on the right side of the frame and now he's on the left side of the frame. And um, in this shot, I'm just going to just get it close enough. Remember the microphones on the MacBook is what's picking him up. So I need to kind of get it close. I'm not in the shot anymore. Let me just adjust it so that he's, okay, you feel comfortable right there? I feel you comfortable. You look me right in the eye, okay. okay. So I'm gonna press record. Oh, I'm still recording here. Well, I don't know how long that shot was, but hopefully we got it all. Okay, so I've pressed record. I'm gonna go over to my questions back in Chrome. Okay, so what was first sparked your interest in paper airplanes and how, okay. So let me just put this back here so you can see me doing it with the MacBook here. Um, what was it, what was, okay. What first sparked your interest in making paper airplanes? And I forgot to tell you, just make up all your answers, okay? So let's do that one again. Take two, here we go. I love making paper airplanes because I can make it go fast and really high. Good, good, good. Okay, we're just gonna do two of the many here. Can you describe the process you go through in designing? Okay, so I'm gonna do that now. Actually, I don't need to get that right. You can read that off the screen because I'm gonna cut to me asking the question. Oh, I just thought of that just now, I'm so sorry. But you've already got the perfect you asking questions. So you can just read it off the screen and then look me right in the eye and give me the answer to the first half of that second quarter. Well, can you describe the process you go through when designing a new paper airplane model? Well, some of the things I des I want to have the... How, have would the do, how would we do that one again? Just okay. go, go ahead. <clears throat> I like to design my air paper airplanes to look really nice in the sky and really bright and colorful. So I choose the right colors first. Okay, I actually found myself naturally nodding my head with that shot. So I'm going to cut to that uh, when we put this all together. So what you've learned here is that that is the three steps to recording a video, uh, an interview with a one camera. And this has been done for, for a lot of years. You get um, yourself asking the questions, you get yourself nodding responses, and then you finally go interview the person. And then in the next video, we're gonna edit it all together and make it look like it all happened at the same time. See you in a minute. Bye. <laughs> Bye too, again.